we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I <laughs>
hard that is to do. And do you know why they've left? Millions of people are doing it. Women who are getting their period every 30 days are walking for three months with children. Think about that. Well, you don't get the period. Menstruating every 30 days as you're walking through the jungle. Take that home tonight. So she's saying that because women have periods, you must let them into your country. That argument doesn't really make any sense to me. And the fact she's talking about these people traveling from supposedly war-torn countries to get to the US, well, if that's the case, prove it. Show the documentation that indicates you're from a war-torn country. But they don't do that because they're not. Economic migrants, they're not refugees. Well, very few, very few are refugees. And they go to the US for welfare. You can see this in countries like the UK, where a large proportion of these people that enter the country are still on benefits after a few years. And it's really bad for certain countries. I think uh, people from Afghanistan, the numbers are extremely high. People that just never get a job. Taking advantage of the taxpayer. It's not the country that these people travel to. It's not their responsibility to fix what's going on in these people's home countries. Even if it is a war-torn country. That guilt trip does not work with me. Now, we got more of these um, people who are pissed off that Trump wasn't ended having a full-on meltdown. Check this out. Get off this overpass, you racist <laughs> Your kind is not allowed up here. Nobody you come up here all the you. time. No one stands with you, you racist <laughs> What are you going to do with this video? You are 100% evil. You are 100% you are 100% terrorist traitors to this country, just like him. And God damn you to burn in hell, death. You will burn in hell. I'm sorry that the guy was an inch off. That's pretty much what political debate in America has become. Oh, we had a gun to get last night. Ha <laughs> She was talking about um, them being terrorist traitors to the United States. I mean, I'd say that anyone who welcomes millions of undocumented people into the country are traitors to the country. People. Now, here we got Rosie O'Donnell, who's having a meltdown to her therapist, thinking that this could be the end of democracy. Really? <laughs> it's so bad. Check this out. The whole thing is uh, very, very unnerving. It's very unnerving. In 100 days, you know, people are saying to me, my therapist actually said to me, well, it's a long time between now and November. No, it isn't. We're about to start school again. You know how quick all of a sudden it's thanks, it's Halloween and then it's Thanksgiving break. So by Thanksgiving break, we're going to know whether we still have democracy in the United States. That's not a long time. It's a long time uh, to worry every day. I could tell you that. So she hasn't been worrying about it for the past few years under Biden. It's been all good. What can you say about this stupidity? It doesn't make any sense. But I think the biggest loser out of all this, it's not Joe Biden, it's not even the American public having uh, Kamala Harris possibly forced on them. The biggest loser out of all this is Jack Black. <laughs> that guy threw away whatever career he may have had over Biden, and Biden has just got the F out of there. <laughs> Imagine being Jack Black right now. And I thought this one was hilarious. Uh, lots of panic in Europe. And um, Zelensky, he's worried. He's big time worried. That money is not coming through. <laughs> Zelensky is going to have to pay for his own goddamn war now. Stop scamming the American taxpayer and the Australian taxpayer and the Canadian and the UK as well. Stop taking our money. You pay for your own goddamn war, you bum. Well, that's what's going on. Hope you're having a good day as always. And as always, say get the peons the hell out of my stinking house.